The Hellenic Club is hosting an exhibition of treasured icons donated by members of the local Greek community. Michael Kazan is the organiser and he says that the, dis that the display has proved so popular that it's going to stay put for a little bit longer. Adam Shirley went to see it. In 1970, before coming to Australia, I went to see my parents, who at the time was living in, on the island of Lesbos, to say goodbye to them. The final words were, our son, unfortunately, we can't give you any help financially, but we can give you our blessings and those two icons to protect you. And that is in my soul, it's in my mind all the time. The Hellenic Club put uh, a flyer around asking people who brought for, uh, icons with them from Greece when they first came to bring them to the club for the exhibition. How hard was it to bring all the artefacts together once you'd put that initial call out? People were very shy, to put it uh, <laughs> bluntly. Uh, but since the exhibition was set up, a lot of people of Greek background came and, says, and said, we've got icons too. And next time you have an exhibition, we'll be only too happy to lend you our icons. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is only the first uh, exhibition of Greek icons in Canberra. I would say that uh, St. John the Forana uh, will be more than 400 years old. Our lady and the child uh, probably will be uh, three to 350. And the third one uh, probably will be the uh, newest one, but again, it will be more than 250 years old. They are uh, all paints and they are uh, egg tempera as well. So they are different uh, paints used. They were brought from private homes, uh, most of them, especially the ones who are in the lockable uh, glass uh, displays. The pride of people who lend us the icons is so obvious, uh, and they come and always ask, do many people come? And I must admit that the attendance or the people who come to visit this exhibition is an incredible number of people of all walks of life, any religion, any background. The important thing is they are, are heirlooms, that things which belong to our families for centuries. It is very, very important to show what Greek culture is all about, which is more than um, Suvlaki and Regina and uh, Tajiki. So, Yes, Greeks and migrants in general brought a lot of their culture with them. It's part of them. I don't think that the owners of those icons are um, interested in the monetary value of it. Yes, it may be worth thousands of dollars, but for them is what really these icons mean to them rather than the actual uh, value of it. What does it mean to you to be able to present all these icons to the Canberra community? When I sit here uh, and people come in and ask questions and I see how much they appreciate uh, this exhibition uh, and the words they use, it's beyond... Uh, I can't find words to express my feelings. Adam Shirley with that report.